Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bhagishri Bhoir, Assistant Professor, Department of Management Studies from Sangu Kanat Thakur Arts, Commerce and Science Autonomous College. Today, we will learn International Human Resource Management and Objective of International Human Resource Management. So, International Human Resource Management is all about the uh, managing the human resource at international levels. So here we have we have to add a different uh, functions of human resource management like uh, recruitment selection training and development compensation management HR uh, human resource planning so all uh, and more uh, all uh, human resource management functions with the help of that human resource management we have to manage the human resource at the international levels today we learn objective of human resource management so first objective is to ensure availability of right peoples that is most important that right people should be available at a right time for the right company also whatever the peoples we are recruiting we have to go from we have to go from the all the recruitment and selection procedures so employees who are expected employees who are reputed employees we have to recruit the right peoples whatever the different sections are there because this uh, these positions we are hiring for the international levels the person who are suitable for the right positions we have to recruit that person at a right positions also next uh, to effectively deal with the diverse workforce here the peoples who are recruiting uh, for the international human for parent country national for host country nationals uh, here, the peoples are from diverse uh, cultures they are from diverse religions they are from uh, diverse caste so the uh, here we have to deal with the diverse workforce so your employees whatever the employees uh, recruiting for the international levels the company should manage that people the company should give proper training to all the employees so that that uh, the hr person can deal with the diverse workforce also the orientation training is required then also the induction training is required with the help of the different training they can deal with the different purpose also to provide the job satisfaction that is the third objective of the human resource management the job satisfaction which is also the most important the employees who are working with the organizations the employee they are not work, only working for the monetary benefits they also want the non monetary benefits also so uh, here the hr person deal with the added responsibilities also he has to look after the personal uh, uh, personal uh, responsibility of that employees also so here the employees are getting the not only the uh, uh, monetary satisfaction but also the non monetary satisfactions also so that is most important objective of human resource management that whatever the employees they are recruiting that employee should be retained with the company and for that retentions also they have to provide the job satisfaction of the uh, to the employees next is to maintain standard of work life the employees who are working for the organizations they want quality of work life and that quality of work life which is most important for the employees because the employees uh, if you are recruiting the employees from the different country also that employees want the quality life quality of work life he can uh, he can not only enjoy the quantity of the works but also the quality of the work and the hr person who he has to manage his all the benefit he has to manage all the compensation system also so that his quality of life as per the standard as per the uh, as per the standard of that company uh, country also and as per the standard of that country also next objective is to remain competitive throughout the work for the remaining competitive throughout the work the important is that the employees uh, employees of the organizations with the help of that employees only the company can be a more competitive in the organization so whenever you are se selecting the right person for the right job and if you are dealing effectively with the diverse workforce you are if your employees is enjoying your job satisfaction and if you are providing the standard of work life definitely you are able to live in the competitive work through a competitive throughout the world also next uh, objective is to decide fair benefits and compensations whenever you are recruiting the employees you should decide the fair benefits as per their qualification as per their experience as per their knowledge also because if you are employing the right person if you want uh, if you want available that right person for the right job the fair benefits which is most important there should be no uh, bias unbiasedness should be there so you are able to manage that employees with the help of the benefits and compensations 
the employees also want to monetary benefits because he is leaving his country and for the after leaving his country he has to manage his families also and for the managing his added responsibility that um, company should provide uh, fair benefits to that employees also whatever the employees are parent country national whatever the employees host country national whatever the employees is third country nationals also next objective is to retain employees so employees should be retained with your company if you are recruiting the employees from all over the world like first parent country nationals like third country national or host country nationals also that if employees is not retained with your company so whatever the procedures that you have spent it for the recruiting the employees what are the money you have spent it what is the time you are spent it for the recruiting the employees it could be wasted wasted also because if that more than six months more than three months you are spending for that recruiting the employees for the right po position and right people for the right positions also and if that employees is left to your company so uh, the ben the amount you have spent it for that em uh, employees also it could be waste so you have to focus on the employees you have to manage all the policies you have to manage all the procedures of the company so that the employees can be can get the job satisfaction also the employees can work, uh, enjoy his work also and employee will not leave that company also if he having any issue if he having any problems he can easily contact to the concerned person he can easily manage that response uh, manage that issues also and that is most important for the employee that he can retain with the company so these are the objective of human resource management next lecture we will learn the reasons of uh, reasons for being emergence of human resource management thank you